I welcome you to a world of exciting transactions on the STAMIC IBTC mobile application, also known as Super App. So in this review, I'll break down the major upgrades and features that the app comes with. But I think the first step that we all need to take here is download the application. It's available on your Google Play Store and your iOS Store as well. So a glance at the dashboard shows new additions to the Stambic IBTC domains to include insurance and stocks with each of the product domains having a separate login access save for the stocks, which essentially directs you to the Stambic IBTC stock broken application that is also available for downloads on your Play Store. For new and existing subscribers, the application offers quick login capabilities with facial and fingerprint biometric options and strong customer data protection. So if you're new to the Stambic IBTC Super app, as in you just downloaded this from your Google Play Store or your iOS Store, you can experience and make full use of the application in minutes. But there is also an option for you to create an at-ease wallet or an instant account, which will give you access to the application, but that will require an upgrade at your nearest Stambic IBTC branch to fully utilize the features of the super app. What's also cool about signing up on the super app is that you can use the application on two devices and that's one less thing to worry about. Signing up on say your second device when you have already signed up on one device, that's really cool. Also one of the first things that I noticed upon opening up the application is the fact that it actually masked my account information. The actual account balance I had was maxed, it was in X's. Until I actually clicked on it, I did not see what it was. For people who really are concerned about that, it's a fantastic feature. Now, the top left corner of the application is the voice banking feature, which allows you to carry out basic transactions like buying airtime or sending money via a voice command. It's really easy. Now, not only does it give the application a unique human character or a feeling of personalization, but it also displays and showcases technological involvement of the application in a world of virtual assistants and interactive voice commands. I equally like design-wise uh, the level of discretion that is showcased with regards to how the voice banking feature is enabled because you initiate it by one tap of the icon. Talk about hands-free. And so its strategic positioning at the top left corner of the application helps to minimize your finger from mistakenly hitting the command if it were, say, somewhere in the middle. Also, for more on the feeling of personalization, the app also gives you the option of uploading your picture to the profile. That's cool. The app has made payments super easy with payments to multiple beneficiaries, where you can select at once multiple beneficiaries to whom you send a specified amount to. A feature similar to this will be with buying airtime, where the application now provides you with prompts to aid transactions based off of a previous transaction you have made, saving you the stress of having to repeatedly type in amount details, which can now be done in one or two clicks. The Super app also allows you to schedule your payments, say your cable subscription, for instance, on say a monthly basis. Also, you're able to easily load prepaid cards for bill payments. And now that things are gradually returning to normal, you could pay for travel, event tickets, etc. Let me tell you the cherry on top for me. Now this is with regards to sending or receiving money. It is an ATM cardless withdrawal feature that essentially enables you to withdraw money without a debit card. Also, to send money to a beneficiary, no need scrolling through a long list of banks trying to figure out the appropriate one to send money to. The super app is super smart that just by entering the account number of your beneficiary, the corresponding banks are suggested to you to choose from and then move on to other things. Now, another upgrade you should look out for is the at ease feature. This was called mobile wallet in older versions of the application. And what it is, is in fact a wallet that was designed to meet the lifestyle needs of the informally served, the underbanked and the multi-banked using new technology and agent network. It can be opened in less than three minutes with new documentation. So you can access your at ease account by entering your at ease account number, which in this case will be your phone number serving as your account number and entering your transaction pin as well. It's really that easy. 
Self-service options on the Super app have been upgraded to include a password reset and the option to freeze and unfreeze your account. That is giving you the option to freeze your account if you don't want it to be active and vice versa. Personally, I think that this option will come in very useful and as a matter of urgency in protecting your account in the case of a breach or a compromise while of course you're notifying your bank. So that's happening on one hand. Let's talk mutual funds. This is kind of like your investment account if you are new to the Stambic IBTC family and it also has some upgraded features on the app. Now, you can view right on the dashboard your daily interest and as such better track your fund's progress which was something you could not readily access on the older app. You can also now easily increase your daily limit on mutual funds for your redemption within the limit range or withdraw from mutual funds. To access your mutual fund account on the application for the first time, you will need to contact the Stambic IBTC Asset Management Limited for your initial login details. Now to its insurance feature. The cumbersome process of monitoring and accessing your insurance is made easier now that it's on your mobile application. And so this should encourage you to insure anything insurable. Basically, insure anything that is worth insuring at all. On the Super app, you can view your transaction history as well as either renew or terminate your insurance policy. You can also report a claim and upload your proof of claim all right on the application. To log in, you will need to enter your email address and password, but you will also need to be registered with the Stambic IBTC insurance brokers for you to be able to use the insurance module of the application. Let's now go to the pensions feature on the super application. So generally speaking, if we were to add to the list of things that would typically involve a cumbersome process, we'll be adding pensions and retirement savings, right? Well, on the Super app, there's good news. The app, in fact, allows you to easily monitor your pensions. So this is very important because it allows for transparency and allows to track discrepancies based off of a stipulated agreement from the same organization, avoiding issues that may accompany these at a later date. Let's now talk stockbroking. You can manage your Stambic IBTC stockbroking account with this super app. So you'll be required to enter your user ID and password to log into your stockbroking account on the application, but you also should prepare for profiling by the Stambic IBTC Brokers Limited. Really easy stuff. Thank you very much for watching this review. I hope that you have enjoyed it and I hope that it was as detailed as you hoped it'd be. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite feature of the Stamic IBTC Super app is. Just comment below, let me know what it is. And don't forget to please like this video, share it to everyone. And don't forget to please subscribe to our channel. Bella Rose from Texas is saying bye. Super bye.